would you join you in business? Would you follow you? I, um, I've put a lot of time on this, and man, our team's gotten so good. And once, once you get good, it's easy to attract good people. Mm-hmm. Like, let me ask you something. Could you recruit Pastor Ewings today? Yes. Could you recruit him today? No. you got to focus on you. And let me, let me tell you a couple ways that you can do that. Number one is who you spend time with. The worst thing you could ever do is take business and life advice from a successful employee. There you go. Because they think like an employee. If you're not, if it doesn't make me better, make me bigger or make me more money, I ain't doing it. Because I'm focused on me getting better. I don't want to do this thing forever, guys. I don't want to run 40 appointments a week forever. Right. How many of you guys want to do that for the rest of your life? You want to sit down and convince people why they should save some money? No, I don't want to do that forever. I want to build an empire that goes and does that stuff. That makes sense? Yeah. I want 100 people giving me 1% effort versus me giving 100% all by myself. And if you could focus on getting better, you're going to get better. You know, if you think like a loser, you lose. True or false? True. 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 So you got to focus on getting better. Spend time with the right people. How, how much time do you spend with your coach? Do you like, are you trying to go on every possible appointment? I, I can't believe when he went and spoke at the event, no one came. You may have had your own breakout meeting going at the same time, but I'm going to follow my coach as much as I can. I'm going to say, like, you, you're going to get sick of me. Because I want to learn this thing as fast as I can mm-hmm. and get as good as I can as fast as possible so I could go on and I could build an empire and I could push you to the top. That's good. You got to get glued to your coach, man. You get a chance to spend time with Eric Olson, you got to be, you got to take advantage of that stuff. Mm-hmm. You got leaders that are winning. The worst thing you could do is hang around all your time with the people you knew before WFG. You got to learn how to walk away from some people. There you go. Sometimes you got to focus on associating up and you got to disassociate down. Yeah. You spend all your time with your sidelines, you go in circles. You spend time all your time with your downlines, they pull you down. You got to spend time with your coach. And you got to get better. You got to break through, guys. Every next level to, to, uh, requires a next level of yourself. So I remember when I, my goal was to make three grand a month. How many of you guys your goals around three grand a month? Be honest. If you're like, if I made an extra three grand a month right now, I would be solid. Right. Okay. I remember when that was my goal. Guess what? I made three. 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 And then one day I was like, why the heck am I stuck at three? <laughs> and then it was seven. Now I remember the first time we made ten thousand in a month, and fifteen, and twenty-five, and thirty-five, and fifty-five thousand a month, and sixty thousand a month. And every single time it was me getting better. And every time, you want to know why people get stuck? Between where you are and where you're trying to get to, there's a lot of crap you've got to go through. The, the devil does not push you when everything's easy. The devil only attacks when you're trying to get better. You ever notice you get into WFG and all of a sudden everything goes wrong? <laughs> you finally got three grand in your savings and all of a sudden all four of your tires pop. <laughs> you finally get three people on your team, you got three total and somehow five quit and you only had three. Yeah. You're like, okay. And that, that's because every next level requires you to get better and you got to get better. You got to raise up your standards, number six. Look, guys, at the end of the day, you're going to make whatever you require. You're going to get whatever you expect. Life will only give you what you're willing to fight for. Nothing's free. Mm, You realize that? And in today's society and government, less and less is free. Mm -hmm. You you have to go get what you want. How many of you guys realize that the government's not going to retire you? If you're under 30 right now, guess what? The government ain't going to retire you. If you're under 50, you probably ain't getting a retirement either. <laughs> social security is now social insecurity. And the reality is, is that the millennial generation is paying for grandma's retirement right now. Mm-hmm. And, and guess what millennials aren't doing? Saves going them. to college, getting jobs, and working in corporate America. They're not doing that anymore. Yeah. So they're not paying social security, so who's going to pay it for you? How many of you guys got parents that will never retire if you don't retire them? Okay, so what are you going to do? You gonna watch dad work till he's 105? Or are you gonna figure out how to recruit? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You gotta go fight for whatever it is that you want. And look, you're in the right spot. You're in the right spot right now. You're in the right team. This team is moving. And you know, I love this People team because you got you have a leader that's so charismatic and so fired up and so enthusiastic. 
and such a good person. If you ain't going to win here, where the heck are you going to win? <laughs> you got people here that believe in you more than you believe in you. And you got an environment and a culture and a system. And, a, and you're on the number one team in all of WFG. I can say, I would say that even from Dan's stage, because I know that's true. Pinnacle is dominating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But are you dominating is the question. Yeah. 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 You, you got to get after it. And you got to raise up your standards. Look, we all have this number in our head. This is why I love entrepreneurship. We all have this number in our head of what it takes every month for us to be comfortable. That's true even for me. Of what it takes. Like I tell you right now, if I make $45,000 this month, that will be an average month. Yeah. And it's this number in your head where you're like, oh yeah, like, phew, all right, I made three grand. Cool. New month. You want to know the problem is that that number in your head is so small. I was so stuck at ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month for the longest time. Literally, for it took me four years to get from a hundred thousand to a quarter million, and it's taken me sixteen months to get from a quarter million to half a million. And you want to know the difference? Is for four years I was so like I was cool at ten grand a month. I was just okay with it, and which is fine by the way. Like I remember when ten grand a month was a dream. But I was okay with it because I had this number in my head that I was comfortable with and I was okay with. I want to tell you something. When that number is there, every single thing you do every day filters to that number. So if your goal is to make 10 grand a month, you could afford to waste some time. Yeah. You could yeah. afford to have dumb conversations. <laughs> yeah. You could afford to entertain stupid things yeah. because the number is small. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to hit 10 grand. Let me ask you something. What does it cost for you to survive right now? How much is it? See, for me, when it was three grand, I always made three grand. Right. Right. When it was five grand, I always made six. That's good. It was enough for me to save. Let me ask you, I'll tell you, my bills right now, that car payment is $3,400 a month. Okay, my, my house cost me about 6000 a month. My office cost me about 8000 a month. It cost me $23,000 a month to pay the bills. So, do you think I waste time all day? Yeah. Do you think I have the same work ethic I did when it cost me three grand a month? No. no, let me tell you why I tell you this. And this is why I'm very candid with you. Is I bet you your number is too small. Yeah, I see. Not the number to pay your bills. I ain't saying go out and get a $3,000 car. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying your standard's too low. Yeah. You know, WFG's paying over a million, two million, three million, five million dollars a day in commission. And, and how much of it are you getting? Not enough. Probably that's true. That's true for me too. This is the only place you can make 50 grand a month and you're pissed. <laughs> Freaking pissed. I, I call it happily pissed off. <laughs> right? Because I'm very thankful and very blessed, but I'm only getting started. I, I, we have a slogan in Tenacity. We call it humble and hungry. I want to tell you something. Let me ask you a question. If your bills became my bills today, you need to make $22,000 a month, would you do anything differently? What would you do differently? Wasting no time. You'd recruit. Okay, why you gotta have twenty two thousand dollars of bills to recruit? Yeah. Why aren't you doing it now? Look, guys, don't make the mistake I made. My my number one thing I want you to get out of this is an entrepreneurship. And the opportunity to build a company in WFG, this is the best opportunity in the entire United States. Bar none. The doctor, she makes three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, she owes hundred and forty thousand student loans. One of my best friends, one of them did the stress test. You want to know something? We make more money than her, and we didn't have to spend eight years in college. Wow. Mm. This is the best opportunity. Next year, she'll make like 360, and then she'll make like 400, because she's going to get a little bit of a raise every single year. Your upside here is so huge. Even if you're 65 years old, God willing, you've got 25 more years. Oh, this is your prime. Warren Buffett made 80% of his wealth after 55. You're just getting started. I, I'm so thankful every day that I started here at 21. But when it, we this is this is what I'll end with. We all have a window of opportunity. And for some of us, it's longer than others. And for some of us, it's, it's going to be a lot shorter than we expect. Mm -hmm. But you have a window of opportunity when this company is open for you. Mm -hmm. what, if, what if you got hurt tomorrow? What if you got in an accident? You couldn't do anything else anymore, and you were stuck with whatever you built up till now. We've all got this shot, man. Your, your, your blessing is like this close 
The problem is, for whatever reason, sometimes we're stagnant. But we all got a window. Some of us, we don't know how much time we've got. Mm -hmm. See, for me, it's not, it's not just about me. It's about the fact that I want to build something for my family. My family is stuck in that cycle of average. Mm. It's been like that over and over and over again. My, my wife's family is stuck in that cycle of poverty. And you know, there's cycles of poverty and there's cycles of, of wealth. And, and if you go through any Section 8 community, there's always going to be all these apartments full, and they're going to be full 10 years ago, and they'll be full 10 years from now. Mm -hmm. Just like you could drive through Bel Air, and there's mansions that were there 10 years ago, and they'll be full 10 years from now. And it's a cycle. I want to break the cycle. That's, that's what we're doing. We retired my mom at 47 years old. We send her a check every single month. We retired my parents. But you don't know how long your window's open. Mm -hmm. And we waste so much time. Life is so short. Life is so short. And, and your career here it could, not, could, could possibly not be as long as you think it is. So you've got to take the advantage that you have now in the right spot at the right time. But you can be on the right track. And if you just sit there, you get ran over. So you've got to go out for the next six months. What I want to see this team do is I want to see someone step up. Yeah. 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 I want to see someone go, you know what, why am I playing so dang small? Yeah. Like you got to go home and take a look at yourself and go, why am I been telling my family I'm going out to work and grind and, and put on this nice suit every day and I ain't doing nothing? Mm -hmm. like you're lying to your family. Some of you guys, you're full-time, your spouse works, you're pimping your spouse out. Oh, man. You ain't getting paid. <laughs> you're, literally, you're literally pimping your spouse out so you could go play business every day. That's go to good. Starbucks with your laptop. That's it. And you ain't doing nothing. And people walk in and out all day long that you don't talk to. I'll leave you one story. I was at Sprouts, walking out of the grocery. This is why you prospect. Walking out of the grocery store, this guy goes beep beep, and this locks his Corvette, and he gets out. And he's walking in, and as I'm putting the groceries, I was like, "Nice car, man." And he goes, "Oh, thanks, bro." And I said, "What do you do for a living?" I put the groceries in. He goes, "Oh, I'm a finance manager in a Nissan dealership." I said, "Okay." I said, "Nice. How long have you been doing that?" He's all about 17 years. I said, you like it? He's like, it's okay. He's like, I never see my family, but it's okay. And I said, okay. I said, well, he's like, what do you do? I said, oh, I run a financial firm down the street. He's like, really? I said, yeah, let me get your card, man. He's like, yeah, here, here. I said, you should get into financial planning. He's like, you know, I probably should. You're probably right. Got his number. Just like that. Three days later, he doesn't answer the phone. Three days later, he doesn't answer the phone. Three days later, I'm driving through the Sprouts parking lot again, and the same dude's walking through the parking lot. And he sees me, and I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, hey. He's like, hey, let's get together. I said, bro, I've called you like 10 times. You don't answer me. He's like, really? He's like, what number did you call from? And he goes to his voicemail. There's a voicemail for me. He never even clicked. So he's like, yeah, let's chat. Two days later, we sit down with him, $2,500 a month, 29,000 points. Paid me $23,000 in commission. Yeah. One conversation <laughs> in the parking lot. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You want to know something else? The, the, the best part of it, the worst part of it, is I recruited him. We did a policy on his uh, sister-in-law. She got approved. Two days later, he calls me. She got diagnosed with third stage breast cancer. Oh. You know that if I had never, and she has three kids, single parent. All kids are under eight years old. Had I not prospected that guy in the parking lot, that mom... God forbid, passes away with nothing and leaves behind three kids with nothing. So not only did that one prospect pay me 25 grand, then also that mom is set up. And you want to know how she found out? Check this out. Transamerica approved her for a policy. After approval, we signed the delivery receipts. The underwriter calls me and said, hey, I have to look at the policy because we just got notice back from her attending physician statement, her APS, that she has cancer. We're not sure whether or not the policy is going to be able to stay in force. Thankfully, it was already in force. Mm -hmm. There's nothing they can do about it. Wow. The only reason that client knows she has breast cancer is because I called and told the guy, Jason. Wow. Otherwise, she would have never even known. Because she knows she went straight to the doctor, now they're taking care of it. She would have never found out had I not prospected that guy. You guys understand that? The, the power of the, that you have, like the things you could do. What if she had never found out? Who knows? Guys, we have such a freaking awesome opportunity. 
And th this business is so much fun. But I'm gonna tell you something, your experience of WFG is not, is not the real experience. There's WFG and then there's WFG. You, you haven't gotten to experience that yet, I promise you that. You gotta sell out to this thing, no matter how long it takes. It is 100% worth it. We are the best self-development program with the highest compensation package in the country. And this is your opportunity. And I wanna see you guys in Vegas winning. Yes. Yeah. When we get to Vegas next month, yeah. I want you to come up and tell me some big shift you've made in the, in the, in the 30 days between now and then. Yeah, no. And I want you to push yeah. your coach to the top. Stand, stand up. And I want you to raise your hand if you could vow that from now on going forward, you could be like, you know what? I ain't done nothing yet. I've sucked up till now. But now's the time I'm going to get in the game. Raise your hand if you can vow to that. Yes. Yes. Say, I'm going to get in the game. Yes. Listen, yes. time. I'm going to push my coach up. I'm going to push my coach up. Say, I'm going to push my coach up. I'm going to push my coach up. I'm going to make some money. I'm going to make some money. I'm going to become somebody. I'm going to become somebody. I'm going to build a freaking empire. I'm going to build a freaking empire. All right, guys, thank you.